Hey everyone, Tony Franklin here. A few people have been asking me about this bass since I posted a picture of it earlier. It has a 72 neck with an unfinished rosewood board on it. I'm using very old DR Sunbeams on it. It's been a few years. And it's tuned down to a low D, G, C and F. And it just sounds so beautiful and rich. I use it for certain recordings when it needs that very swampy kind of deep kind of sound. backup for this bass this is my original firm fretless i don't know if you can see but the rosewood fingerboard on that is virtually all gone it was shimmed down a number of times and put a light epoxy on that people ask me about that all the time so i'm not really a fan of of the finishes just changed the tone a bit so a good friend of mine found this Look at the difference on the thickness of that board. Real thick and no finish on it. So this one pretty much has the sound that this one had back in the day. Except it wants to be a whole step down. It just speaks better down there. So... You know, basses have a way of letting me know, they let us know what they want to be and what they want to do. I call this one Queen 2. I was going to call it Firm 2 after this one, but I thought, yeah, Queen, Queen 2, she's the Queen. <laughs> she really sings. I have a little bit of weather strip up there because there's some rattle. I couldn't place what it was. That seemed to help it. <laughs> That's the reason that's there. I know people are going to be asking me about it. But have a little close-up. There we go. I love the old faded finish and that old style Fender writing, which is the same as my original fretted. See, it has the same kind of thing. These are my only old bases, not that this really qualifies as being an old one. I'm not much of a collector. I just have bases that work for me. I use them all, record with them all, and this recording requires exactly that. All right, there we go. Have fun. That's my day, working, recording. Cheers.